what's up you guys after cherry axia and today i'm gonna be watching some more buffy the vampire slayer this is season 7 episode 12 and it is titled oh what is the title uh potential so yeah let's get into it Okay. These two are dead. Why? Do the black chick always gets it first? Oh, what was that, Rona? I'm dead because he's a vampire. I don't have slayer strength, slayer speed. It, it wasn't it a fair chip. fight. Why? You think I care if it's a fair fight? No, 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 sir. You don't play by the rules, and I have learned a valuable lesson of some sort. Ow. Okay, Spike. You were just hurting You're right. her. What? You don't have sound his terms. Your gut's telling you to run. Run. Okay, regain the higher ground. Make the fight your own. Spike, what did your instincts tell you to do just then? Hunt. Kill. Come at me. Full speed. This is he cool. He needs to kill to live. I like it. That tells you everything you need to know. Come on, Spike. Instinct. Understand his, but trust yours. You were chosen for a reason. Uh, oh. Are you okay? Fine. A couple of ribs ache. Why so rises? I'm fine. Let me see. No, it's... A spike. Okay. I'm gonna be okay. That's hot. So, we're supposed to, like, make out with him or something? Careful, Buffy. Just when you think it's part of the lesson, he'll hurt your arm. Death is what a slayer breathes. What a slayer dreams about when she sleeps. Death is what a slayer lives. It's your gift! My death could make you the next slayer. Oh, goody. No. Wrapped attention. I love Shouldn't that it be so fake? much. Because if that's the case, no. then a new slayer should have been because you died twice. If we go with what Anya's resources are telling us, then the first is in remission for a while. Which we think means advantage us. Well, what does that mean? About the first? <sighs> Amanda, right? Molly Lars. Do people ever think you're weird? Um, I guess, sure. I mean, in a charming, endearing, lovable... Yeah. I feel like people think I'm weird. And you so probably they pick are. Up. But I might be weird. Amanda, why do you think that you're weird? Is this code for like she might One be of the boys who picks like, on me. gay or something? I don't know. I kind of... See, if a guy picks on you, is it weird? I think he's cute. Okay, never mind. Oh. It's just... Or even mortal enemies. Well, them with the... And that leads to no good, absolutely no good, and Maybe much confusion. A little good. And then it's over, absolutely, seriously, definitely over. And that's confusing too, the over part, which it is, over. So, maybe. I've only gone a couple of hours. Buffy. Hey, everybody, look, it's Willow. Perhaps the blunt weapon of some sort. Buffy, we just got news. Okay, uh, I'll take him. Yes. Andrew, you're not going. Why would you think he would go? Seriously? Go to the Why is he here? You're like a storm in a castle. You do a lot of that, do you? I might. I had a beauty like this. Halt! 
Okay, see, that's why we don't point the weapons in the kitchen. It's not loaded. That's always the lead quote under the headline, Household Crossbow Accident Claims Teen. Oh, Mace. Begging. You're like a small dog dancing to snow. Is she still out? I'm coming along because you think I'm evil. He doesn't seem evil, exactly. He's not evil. But when he gets close to it, he picks up its flavor, like a mushroom or something. But I'm reformed. I'm like Vegeta on Dragon Ball Z. I used to be a pure Saiyan, and now I fight on the side of Goku. Okay, first of all, first fair. of all, how dare you refer to yourself as being like Vegeta? Vegeta is amazing, okay? Also, Goku. There are so many things wrong with what he just said. Spike just killed people and he gets to go. Spike didn't have free will. You did. <sighs> Hate my free will. This way you're all hiding. Hi, Spike. Are we ready to go or what? Hey. Let's go, girls. Grab your weapons. All right, let's do it. Hey, I'll know about you guys, but I'm ready to kick it. First, you guys are going to You want to play Dragon Ball Z? Hey, what do you mean play dress? What? What? My eggs. Got my chrysalises. Chrysalis. My butterfly transformer pods. Hey, wh where's my snakeskin? At your service, Miss Rosenberg, sir. Why are you trying to be like Nagini? <coughs> oh, oh, good oh. God. What is that smell? Oh. Oh. Fairly sure that's the smell of a hard-boiled egg being thrown into a fire. Uh-huh. The smell will lead us to the potential. Or some poor soul who ate too many chimichangas. She'll also be lit with a, a brilliant aura. Is it supposed to be shimmying all over like that? Whew. I don't know. I, I, I don't think so. So you messed up the spell again. At, at least it smells, you know, otherworldly. Oh, look, pretty. <laughs> I suck. I'm sorry, you guys. I... You didn't stop. Maybe we could you figure will, something out you. on the computer. Good call. I I'm going to open the door and let this place air out. Don't worry, Will. It's really no big. I just, I, I was sure that it was going to work. Dawn. Ah! You're a potential. You could be the next Slayer. Wow, it's, it's like, one second, you were this klutzy teenager with... She could make, like, the best Slayer. Okay, hear me out. Growing up next to a Slayer, and then if she was to become the next Slayer, she would have all of that knowledge and her sister, like, like if, if she trains or something like that, she could be, like... The best slayer. Fake memories and a history of kleptomania, then, then suddenly you're a hero. A hero <laughs> with a much abbreviated lifespan. This is huge. We have to think about this. I, I can't think about this. It, it, it doesn't fit in my head. A slayer. Makes sense, I guess. Remember that thing about they share the same blood or whatever? Yeah, I never got that. She has to die. Oh, yeah. I mean, if I was ever... Because you're made from Buffy. ...the Slayer, it would mean she died. Well, it's a lot like being the Pope in that way. Except you don't have to be some old Catholic. So technically, the monks didn't make her into a girl. They made her into a potential Slayer. I'm keen! We've got to call Buffy. She's going to be so excited. No, we can't. She didn't bring herself. Well, sure. Why would you not bring yourself with her? You are important now. Rush her. Rushing's only gonna get her killed. What are you doing? Have you not learned anything? She has a bar. Best damn field trip I ever took. No, no, they're demons. It's a demon bar. Why would Buffy not take her phone with her when she knows that the, like, potential is, like, that they're, 
looking for the potential. Like, what if the potential was in serious danger and Buffy needed to... What? Bar. It's like a gay bar, only with demons. Spike! Long time. I see you to bring snacks. Touch them and lose your privates. Blair, remember that. Out of being in here, that would gladly rip your throat out. Buffy? Girl, how you been? Oh my god! You look great. So toned. He's ripping out her throat right now. Oh my god, it is so good to see you. I saw this great show on the History Channel the other night that I knew you would love, and then something went all fluey with my TiVo. You know what? Can I talk to you for a second over here? <laughs> you think she dated him too? Absolutely not. Okay, everyone. These are the girls. Howdy. So, you girls are gonna deal with demons, huh? Just let me tell you this. Just when I thought that you that weren't... Yeah, you're the... right about now. Just when I got used to you. What? Uh, just suppose he got out and was maybe, like, encouraged toward the gym while the marching band was playing. Because the way they look down the swing choir, it might be, you know, funny. <laughs> I'm just saying. Is this like a trap? Huh? Are you trapping my door? He didn't break down the door anyway. Yeah. more and more like a trap. Where'd it go? I don't know. But we have to get out of here. point vampires can live anywhere any way they want tastes fashions living conditions and it can vary angel the animal in hotel. Inside, always the same where did you live hotel what you mean before thing uh crypt actually but nicer a bit more i don't know if posh is the right word but it was more like comfy excuse me when did you find it comfy Moving on. You want to stay alive? You have to spot and identify a nest on sight. Look around. All of you. Look for signs that just last night maybe a dozen, two dozen vampires were right where we're standing. Go ahead. Work, work, work. This little excursion was just in danger of being interesting. I know something, Spike. The question is never, what do you think? It's always, uh, what do you know? You've got to know. If you don't, if you make one mistake, it takes just one vampire to kill you. So you've got to know you can take him. Know your environment. Know what's around you and know how to use it. It's what Buffy does all the time. In the hands of a slayer, everything is a potential weapon, if you know how to see it. When you're fighting, you have to know yourself, your brain, your body, know how to stay calm, center. Every move is important. Every blow's gotta be part of your plan, because you make that one mistake, and it's over. You're not the slayer. You're not a potential. Look up, you're dead! So what do you know? Right now, the only thing you know for sure Wow. 
on, sweetie, open up. Want me to kick down the door? Anya. What? It's door. <laughs> she <laughs> snuck out. Besides, she's been sulking in there for. No! You don't want her! You want me? Amanda, listen to me. You remember when you said I was special? Well, I'm not. You're... But the thing is, you are. This is your battle, Amanda. No, I can't. You can. You've got to. Look, I've got your back, but this is something you have to do. It's something you're born to do. Here, this belongs to you. No, I don't Bucky like it. Up here. It was Willow's spell. She's the potential slayer. I'm sure the vampire thought we were like, what, four helpless girls? Yeah. And then what? We're not gonna see that? What? We're just four helpless girls. <laughs> that was part of my plan. When it all started. Oh, I wanted to out, see them. It was like we knew Damn what it. we were doing. For real? Yeah, like when you dodge that first attack and then crack and cross the jaw. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. See, I wouldn't have been able to do that if you hadn't took his legs out. I hurt his arm. Yep. And an arm can be as lethal as a mouth. When you stake him, seriously, the rush was like... So, you took one out solo. Yeah. What was that like? I don't know. I mean... When I saw the vampire... Vamp? Uh, vampire's good, too. Cool. Yeah, when that vampire attacked me, I felt this kind of charge, you know? <laughs> like you realize in one instant that your whole life like is it. different. I want to throw him to be a slayer. It's that rush you're talking about. And the amazing thing is, not one of them will ever know. Not even Buffy. Know what? How much harder it is for the rest of us. No way. They've got Seven the... years, Don. Working with the Slayer. Seeing my friends get more and more powerful. A witch. A demon. Hell, I could fit Oz in my shaving kit, but come a full moon, he had a wolfy mojo not to be messed with. Powerful. All of them. And I'm the guy who fixes the windows. And cracks a lot of jerks. They forget about that. Well, you had that sexy army training for a while, and, and the windows really did need fixing. I saw what you did last night. Yeah, I... I guess I kind of lost my head when I thought I was the Slayer. No, you thought you were all special. Miss Sunnydale, 2003. And the minute you found out you weren't, you handed the crown to Amanda without a moment's pause. You gave her your power. The power wasn't mine. They'll never know how tough it is, Donnie. To be the one who isn't chosen. To live so near to the spotlight and never step in it. But I know. I see more than anybody realizes because nobody's watching me. I saw you last night. I see you working here today. You're not special. You're extraordinary. Oh, sad dog. Maybe that's your power. What? Seeing, knowing. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe I should get a cape. Cape is good. Yeah. Oh, 
Stupid show, give me stupid feelings. That was a really, really sweet speech, but I'm annoyed because I, who the fuck cares about Amanda? Like, fucking, I want Dawn to be a freaking potential. I understand where they were going with it, you know, made her feel special and all that kind of stuff, but god damn it, I want to, that would have been awesome. Two sisters teaming up. That's annoying. I'm annoyed. To me, Dawn's a slut. Oh. Yeah, that's too bad. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.